you know, t about 10, 20 years ago, I was skeptical myself. And like any good scientist, you always take in the information and then you question it and then you research it yourself and you find out what's really going on. And that's what I did. And since I did that, I have become very aware that not only is this a problem, but it's real and I need to make sure that I'm communicating that as best as I can. Because for a lot of people in my viewing area and even across the country, I'm the only scientist that they're ever going to see or meet. And so I have a responsibility and a duty to them to educate them on what's happening. Um, and I just want to make the world a better place for my kids. And if I can educate people who are policymakers and decision makers and they could actually take action on it, then I consider that a huge success. Last weekend, I gave a presentation to a room at MonCon, which is a convention of monsoon and storm chasers. And um, you know, some of them are involved in weather forecasting every day. They chase storms, but a lot of them didn't know very much about climate change. And I presented them the whole story, start to finish. Here's how the atmosphere works. Here's what greenhouse gases are. Here's what we know is happening through our own actions. And here's how it's already affecting things and how it could affect things in the future. And there was such an overwhelmingly positive feedback from that. I even had one chaser tweet me afterwards and said, you know, I really didn't know what to think about this, but thanks to your talk today, I'm convinced too, and we got to do something about it. So if I can just keep doing that and keep informing people to the point where they get their wake up call, then I consider it a huge success.